Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and welcome back to the foot draft on the FIFA 16 demo. Now, this might be the final foot draft that I do on the FIFA 16 demo, but of course, it is the Ligue 1 foot draft. So, let's get the team build. Right, so out of all the formations here, I think I'm going to go with the 4-3-3 holding, as it means I at least get a CDM. And usually, a CDM is quite easy to get in the Ligue 1. So, let's see who we get for the captain. Well, we seem to have a problem in the captain's slot, so we got Goetze, De Bruyne, Ronaldo, Lam, or Iniesta. Now, unfortunately, none of these are from the Ligue 1, but I'll go with Ronaldo just for the rating. Alright, so the first player we've got to pick is the strikers. So we've got Adjurez, Kiesling, Dermic, Batsuashi. Apologies, I cannot say that name at all. And then we've got Carlos Barker. So I'm going to go with Batsuayi. Again, I cannot say the name, so... Terrible pronunciation is going to be happening with his name if he scores some goals. So, let's just go with him. Okay, so now we move on to the right wing. So we've got Honda, Lucas, Bibiani, or Campos, or Fueguli. Now I'm going to go with Lucas just because of his pace, and he fits in the team perfectly. Right, so now we've got to pick our first centre midfielder. So we've got Pjanic, Gundogan, Andre Gunz, Bonaventura, or Strutman. I'm going to go with Pjanic just for the rating, but unfortunately, this does nothing for the team. Right, so now we've got to pick our second centre midfielder. So we've got Mikel San Jose, Thiago, Cruz, Fernandinho or Sahin. Now I'm going to go with Tony Cruz just for the fact he's higher rated than the rest of the players in this team. But yet again, this does nothing for our Ligue 1 squad. Right, so yet again, we don't have a player from the Ligue 1. So we're going to have to go with either Luis Gustavo, Medel, Kurzakov, Song or Kondogbia. Now, yet again, I'm going to be going with Luis Gustavo, just for the rating, but yet again, he does nothing for the team. All I can say is, finally, there's a Ligue 1 player to pick out of all the left-backs. So we've got Mendy, Fabio Coentrao, Azpilicueta, Felipe Luiz, or Gaia. Now I'm going to go with Mendy, just for the fact he's Ligue 1, and that's the draft we're trying to build. Okay, so now it's time to pick the first centre-back. So we've got Onkelu, Mateo, Vidic, Godin or Noke. Now I'm going to go with Onkelu just for the fact he's Ligue 1. And yet again, I'm building a Ligue 1 foot draft. So yet again, there is no Ligue 1 centre-back to pick. So we got Alvaro Dominguez, Manolas, Vidic, Laporte or Lovren. Now I'm just going to go with Nemanja Vidic just for the fact he's higher rated than the rest of the players here. Right, so now we move on to the right-backs. So we got Aurier, Carvajal, D'Ambrosio, Maggio or Pizcek. Now I'm going to go with Aurier just for the fact he's a Ligue 1 right back. Right, so now we move on to the goalkeeper. So we've got Sommer, Moya, Trapp, Leno or Handanovic. Now I'm going to go with Trapp just for the fact he's a Ligue 1 goalkeeper. And as I've said before, that's the team I'm trying to build. Okay, so the first position on the bench is going to be for nothing. As we've got DeSantis, Tostagan, Bergi, Hart or Diego Lopez. Now, as I said, it doesn't do anything for the team, so I'm just going to go with Joe Hart just for the rating. Now we move on to the second position on the subs bench. Here we got Mangala, Kozakawa, Vermeulen, Godin, or Alaba. Now I'm going to have to go with Kozakawa because I might have to play him a centre back if I don't get a second centre back. Well, right, so yet again on the subs bench, this does nothing for us. So we got Jesus Gomez, Marcelo, Demicheles, Miranda, or Sakera. No, I'm going to go with Miranda, just for the fact he's higher rated. Alright, so yet again, there is no player from the Ligue 1 who I can select. So we've got Shakiri, Cuadrado, Coutinho, Vidal, or Hernanes. Now I'm going to go with Vidal, just for the rating. Right, all I can say is, finally, there is a Ligue 1 player who I can select. So we've got a pick out of Alam, Alan, Shakiri, Gian Martinio, or Bender. Now, of course, I have to go with Gian Martinio if I want to use a Ligue 1 for draft. So let's put him in the team. So this slot on the substitute bench isn't the most convenient, but we got Totti, Rafael, Piatti, Kiesling or Ocampos. Now we do have Ronaldo in the team, but we cannot use Ronaldo as he's not from the Ligue 1. So I'll select Ocampos and play him out on the left wing. So let's put him in the team. Right, so there is a Ligue 1 player, but unfortunately it's a striker and not a centre midfielder. So we've got to pick out of Monain. Palacio, Dempsey, Buenavera, 
or Xhaka, of course. Buenavar is the Ligue 1 player. And I am going to select him and probably put him in the centre midfield slot just for now. Okay, so now we move on to the first position on the reserves. So we've got Diego Alves, Giovinio, David Silva, Koulibaly or Alessandrini. Now I'm going to go with Alessandrini just for the fact he can play as a left winger and get higher chemistry with some of the players in this team. I actually cannot believe this. We actually get to pick Zadlan Ibrahimovic. But of course we do have Ivanovic, Vieto, Papadopoulos or Herman to pick apart from Ibrahimovic. But I'm going to go with Ibra just for the fact you don't get to use him very often. So, let's put him in the team. Right, so this is perfect, actually. So we got Sahin, Dzeko, Barca, Fernando, or Verratti. Now I'm going to pick Verratti just for the fact he can link up with Zatlan Ibrahimovic and Lucas to get a higher chemistry. So let's put him in the team. Right, so this selection doesn't mean anything. So we got Montalivo, Berkey, Martinez, Douglas Costa, or Mateo. Now I'm going to go with Martinez just for the fact he gives a higher rating in the team. Right, so this is the final slot for the foot draft for the Liga 1 team. So we've got Miguel San Jose, Gonalons, Gareth Bau, Ratajkowski or Diego Alves. Now I really want to pick Gareth Bau, but he's not from the Liga 1. So we have to go with Gonalons and that will mean that our team will probably get 100 chemistry. So let's put him in the team. Alright, so now it's time to pick the manager, so we've got to pick out a Moraine, Bilic, Rogers, Inachi, or Mark Hughes. I'm going to go with Mark Hughes just for the fact he's a different manager. Alright, so now we're into the foot draft summary, so we've got Ronaldo, Cruz, and Miranda, 100 chemistry, 83 rated team, 14 Ligue 1 players, 5 French players, and 5 PSG players. So, let's quickly have a recap of the team, and then we'll get into the match. Right, so this is the team that we've actually got. So we've got Trap and Goal, Kazakawa, Onkalu, Mendy, Oria, Yamatinio, Gonalons, Verratti, Alessandrini, Lucas, and the big Swede himself, Zatlan Ibrahimovic. So, let's see who we have to play. Right, so I've decided we're going to be playing Chelsea. So, let's see what we can do in this match. The Onkalu messes up here, and the balls of Oscar! Oh, and Oscar puts it in the back of the net. How about that? And they're winning 1-0. Ibra still got the ball. Zadlan Ibrahimovic. Ibra with the strike, and what a goal by Zadlan Ibrahimovic. And we've equalised. Lucas, he plays the ball to Zadlan Ibrahimovic. Oh, and we've just won a penalty. It's Ibra versus Courtois. Oh, and Ibrahimovic puts it in the back of the net, and we're winning 2-1. Plays it to Alessandrini. Alessandrini is away down this wing. What can Alessandrini do here? Oh, and he's still going. Alessandrini, he is doing fantastic here. He's still moving. Can he cut inside? Yes, he can. He's still got the ball. Alessandrini, what a beautiful solo effort by Alessandrini. And yet again, we've scored a goal. Right, I'm going to be making some subs here. So Buena Vea, Batsuai and Ocampos are coming on for Ibra, Martinio and Verratti. Batsuai. Batsuai. Batsuai with a shot and he scored. And we scored yet another goal. Buena Vea. Buena Vea still got the ball. Buena Vea still going. Buena Vea with a shot and he scored. And we're winning 5-1. Alright, that'll be all for today. Now let me quickly tell you how well the team did and who the players are in the team that done really well. Now the team in general, I think it was probably the best draft I've done so far. Of course, because we had Zadlan Ibrahimovic and Cristiano Ronaldo was sitting on the bench, but unfortunately I couldn't use him. Now the team played pretty well. It was quite good going forward. Defensively it was pretty strong as well. We only conceded one goal and that was quite unlucky at the beginning of the game. Now the players that I thought did really well. Well I'm going to go with Serge Aurier, a right back. He was pretty good and I think he's probably one of the best right backs in the league. And so he's probably going to be expensive as soon as the game comes out. But he's going to be worth the money if you go and get him. Now Onkalu, a centre back that I used in Speed versus the World. He is brilliant. I know he's pretty pacey but his defence is so good. And he can get back, he can defend really well and he's one of my best players in this team. And I'm really looking forward to using him in FIFA 16. Now, Maxime Gonalons. Now, he did get the man of the match, and he was superb in the CDM role. As he could move forward really well, and he was really good in the defensive areas. Now, I think he's going to be one of the better 
CDMs in the game, and he's probably going to be more expensive than most, but he will be worth the money, and I'm going to be looking forward to using him in FIFA 16. Now, what about Lucas? I think that he's a really good right winger, but I don't think he did as well as he could have done in this game. I think he'd be worth the money, but I think that Ocampos, providing he could have played in the right wing spot, probably would have done a better shift there. Now, he did play in the centre mid, Ocampos, but I think he didn't do that bad. Of course, he didn't go forward a lot. He had to defend more than he had to go forward, which, of course, as a right winger, you don't want to be doing. And finally, the player that I thought did really well, and I think he could have had a shout for man of the match, was Roman Alessandrini. Now, Alessandrini, if you saw that goal that he scored, it was beautiful. He ran pretty much from, I think it was our own half of the pitch. And he was dribbling past everyone, and he still managed to score. It was a beautiful goal, and I'm quite happy he scored it, because that's probably one of the best solo goals I've scored in a long time. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.